gamers, welcome back to our painting tutorial series. In this installment, I am thrilled to continue the journey of painting Tyranid High Fleets. Today we're going to focus on the stunning colour schemes of High Fleet Gorgon. So grab your brushes, gather your paints, and let's embark on this exciting adventure. Before we dive into the painting process, let's gather the paints we'll need, and these are the colours we'll be following. Skeleton Hot Contrast Paint for the Ivory Areas, Ink Tensity Olive for the Skin, Dwarf Skin Express Colour for the Fleshy Details, Screaming Skull from Games Workshop for all the edge highlights and bony details, and a 50-50 mix of Olive and Screaming Skull for the highlighting of the flesh. Having these paints ready will make the process smoother and more enjoyable. Now let's move on to the step-by-step -step guide. We'll start by applying Skeleton Hood Contrast Paint to all the ivory areas of our Hormacon. Be sure to cover all the carapace, claws and any other bony features. This contrast paint will bring out the details and provide shading all in one application. Next we're going to start on the skin. I'm going to take Ink Tensity Olive and carefully apply it over the exposed skin area of the model. This will give the High Fleet Gorgon a distinct and menacing appearance. Just note with this colour it will take about 2-3 to three coats to get a solid colour on the model. And make sure each layer dries before you apply the next. Now let's focus on the fleshy details. I'm going to be using Express Color Dwarf Skin. I'm going to carefully apply it into the appropriate areas such as the mouth, inner crevices and other flesh-like parts. This will add depth and texture to the model. This is an optional step and if you are strapped for time, then I would suggest leaving this part out. As I'm wanting a little bit more contrast, I'm going to start doing some washes on the model. First, I'm going to be using Athonian Camera Shade from Gaze Workshop to wash the skin. I'll do two coats of this. And to do a wash on all the carapace and bone areas, I'm going to be using Agrax Earthshade. Just one coat of this will do. It's time to bring out the highlights. I'm going to take Screaming Skull and use a fine detail brush and apply an edge highlight to all the bony areas of the model. This technique will accentuate the ray surfaces and add a realistic touch to the high fleet. I'm also going to be doing a little bit of a striation pattern on the flat plates of the carapace. To highlight the flesh, I'm going to create a mix of 50-50 Olive and Screaming Skull. 
and using a lighter touch, apply this mix to the raised areas of the skin to emphasize the texture and adding depth. Remember this is for an army, so don't go overboard with it, just do the most prominent edges and upper surfaces. And there you have it, the Tyranid Homogon proudly representing the High Fleet Gorgon with its distinctive color scheme. Feel free to experiment, add additional details or personal touches to make it truly yours. Thank you for joining me on this painting tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and found it helpful in preparing for the release of 40k 10th edition. I have an entire series planned exploring the various Tyranid High Fleet color schemes using the versatile Homogon model. So in the next episode, I'll be diving into High Fleet Leviathan, so be sure to be tuned in for that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all our future episodes. Until next time, happy painting, and may your Tyranid High Fleets reign supreme on the battlefield. <laughs>